Okay, my name is Zach Melton. My PDJ number is 38631, and I live in Gray, Tennessee. Do I have to answer truthfully? I would prefer that you do, yes. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> The best advice I got when I first turned pro was I was told it would take a while, like it would take a little bit to find your tournament head. And I didn't know what that meant at first. Um, but after a few years of playing and, and some people call it donating where you're, you know, sometimes you don't cash, sometimes you barely cash, but you're kind of learning. If you, you've got to look at it as like every tournament is a learning experience. And so you can't, you kind of got to throw expectations out the door. So doing that and then playing with better people and learning and watching how they played and how they did stuff successfully, I think that was the biggest breakthrough was to not like overwhelm myself with expectations, but to just go out, play golf, just like it is when you're not playing a tournament and whatever happens, happens. Um, it'd probably be Zach Melton. Uh, <laughs> My favorite pro, no. Right. <laughs> uh, I would have to either, agree with that. I, I think it's me. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm I'm the best at it. I think so. <laughs> Eric's Eric's tries really hard. Uh -huh. My goals are to play, um, to get my body where it's feeling good, like it was at the end of the year, and be able to hold that consistency through the entire season. Um, I mean, my goal would be to finish top 10 or better at, you know, at every event I play. I don't think there's any reason why I shouldn't be able to, so that's basically it. Favorite thing to do that you call exercise, that is play basketball, absolutely. Um, it's definitely loved basketball before I found disc golf, so it's, it's one of my favorite things to do, and any chance I get, I'm gonna play. Putting, uh, I mean, I, when I go out and practice putting, I practice inside the circle. You know, I don't waste a lot of time trying to get better at long putts, because if I make all the putts I should make, I feel like I'm gonna play a, a decent round. Well, if anybody who knows my bag, they know I've got the Steve Rogers, Captain America, you know, warden in the bag, which I throw always. Um, my answer would probably be Captain America, but if you're going by the, the Marvel movies, the Avenger movies, man, Iron Man's pretty cool. So, we'll go Captain America. I think once you can consistently throw over 400 feet, or I mean, maybe 300 feet and above, cause even if you don't throw over 400 feet, you know, 12 speeds and above can benefit you. But really I think to get like long maximum distance shots, like once you can throw 400 feet, you know, I think you can throw distance drivers consistently. But it just kind of whatever suits your game, you know, um, all arm speeds are different, so you should try any disc you can get your hands on and see what works for you. One disc may work really good and you try another one and it works even better. Well, if we're going by just my experiences, Robert McCall just made me a great smoothie about 20 minutes ago. So, um, can we do a spoiler alert? Like, because uh, no, no, not okay, because that would be the answer if I could say it. <laughs> well, maybe by the time, yeah, by the time this is put out, people will know. Okay, so, yeah. all right, spoiler alert, Dustin Keegan makes the best cookies I've ever had in my life. What kind of cookie? Any cookie. He can make anything. Really? You can request and he'll make it and it's like the greatest batch of homemade whatever you want. I think the best part is getting to see new courses and new people everywhere you go. And they're complete strangers, but you meet them and it's like you've known them your whole life because you have this one common theme that you both love disc golf. So it just kind of unites people. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely the driving. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't mind driving. I'm okay. I, like, I can drive through the night pretty well, but just the going from place to place. I, I tell people we're more like professional drivers that get to play disc golf when we get somewhere because <laughs> I, I think we spend as much time driving as we do playing. I would love to get into some course design. I, I really would like to, that's something that interests me and I'm trying to get my foot in the door a little bit with it. Like anytime I help, hear someone talking about it, I try to get in and help, see if I can help out. So I would really like to get into that. If you would have asked me eight months ago, I would have said dogs, no question. But we, uh, me and my wife just got a little kitten well, he's not a kitten anymore, yeah. but he's he's more like a cat dog, is what I've been told, because he doesn't act like a normal cat. But yeah, he's awesome. What kind of cat is he? He's just a really fluffy gray cat, like long hair and I don't know. I don't yeah. know what kind of cat he is. We picked him up from her uh, her grandmother. She came. She goes, we found this kitten in our neighborhood and you know, you all can just look at it, I don't want you, you don't have to take it. And then she shows up and like his little head pops out of the cage and I was like, my wife was like, oh. I was like, well, we have a kitten, so. <laughs> What's the cat's name? Max. Max. Short for Maximus. I think just getting physically and mentally kind of, I play throughout the winter. I don't take like a complete break, but I think it's good to kind of back off a little and not go like 100% like you do during the season. So just making sure you're physically and mentally like refreshed and ready to go, I think is a big, big key. Um, I think a lot of it comes down to you walk up to a tee pad or an upshot and you look at the, you know, the shot that you have and it's a lot of it goes to like past experiences. Um, when you play so much and you, you practice, you play rounds, you play courses, you can kind of see a shot and be like, that looks really similar to hole 13 at my home course. And I throw a putter, it's like very firm there and I know it's accurate distance. So I think a lot of it is muscle memory. You kind of see a shot and you kind of, you, you, most of the time when you've played enough, you get to where you walk up to a shot, you can kind of envision what you would throw there. cry at movies. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no I'm sorry. No, that's not I it. Bet you uh, admit I'm camera. never going to admit it on camera. That'd be silly. Uh, I do. I, I'm a movie buff. I do love movies. I go, I watch them when they come out. I have lots of movies at home, so I'm a movie guy. Uh, train it to let me ride on it, and then I would never need a car or gas, so. <laughs> I think I would need a new, like an overstable defender to backhand distance. I would bring one of my broken defenders to flick. Excuse me. Because I throw a lot of sidearms out there. And I think the third disc would be a truth. I could throw that on, the, on any type of upshot or shorter shots. I go cash that thing in. And then what do you do with it? Okay. And then I probably buy the biggest RV in the world and then me and all my friends can travel and play disc golf, cover entry fees, and we just party. I don't know. <laughs>